Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputin, and this is a Samsung Series 9 notebook I picked up in 2012. It's a thin and light machine. It's uh, about half an inch thick, weighs about 2.4 pounds, and it's really been uh, pleasant to use because it's so compact. It's like netbook weight, uh, easy to throw in a bag and take with you. But you'll notice here on the bottom that there is no removable battery. So I've had this for a couple of years now, and the battery, which used to get around six hours of runtime, gets closer to two and a half now. So it's not designed to have the battery removed and replaced, but it turns out that you can buy an aftermarket battery that will fit inside for around $40, $50. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this apart and replace the battery. So there's about 10 screws here on the bottom of the case. They are regular well, they're small, but they're basically just Phillips screws. So let's go ahead and take them out. And what I'm hoping is this gives me another year or two of use out of this machine before I need to upgrade it. So it's got an Intel Core i5 Sandy Ridge processor. It's not the fastest chip available on the market these days, but it's still plenty for most of my computing needs. And rather than buy another $800 laptop for 40 or $50, if I can get um, back to five or six hours of runtime from here without having to uh, buy a new laptop, saves me some money. All right. So again, it's not really meant to be open, so you can't just sort of pop it off there, but I've got a couple of tools here I'm going to try and slide in, see if I can find an opening in the case that I can get it in there. Here we go. Oh, actually that was fairly easy, probably because I have done it before. So I'm going to take this out of the side, and you can see what's under the hood here. Uh, there's our battery. Where did I put that screwdriver? Now there's a couple more screws that I need to open up here. There's one, two, three, four. Set those aside in a different place. Kind of hard to get a grip on this one. Let's come back to you. All right, so we're back. What, I'm, uh, what I did was I went and got a pair of pliers here, and the idea is when these screws are in too tight, you can sort of place the screwdriver in here. Assuming I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Hold it down and then use the pliers to sort of loosen it. Uh, I've noticed that sometimes these pliers also like to leave marks on my screwdriver, so what I did is I put a little cloth around it first. Anyway, so I've loosened them up. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew. So now we've got all of the screws out. There's four from the inside, 10 from the outside. And see this little spot here that says push? We're just gonna do the opposite of that. And we're gonna pull. Well, first let's undo the last screw. And then we'll pull. So there's actually five and I missed one. Okay. Pull. and pull out. And there you go. So this is the battery that came with it. It's a 44 watt hour, 5,880 milliamp battery. And this is the replacement battery that I purchased, which is actually slightly lower capacity. You'll notice it's 5,200 milliamp hour. Um, but since it's fresher, it should still hold more of a charge than the old one. 
So we're going to then slide that in, sort of push it down here, and then we're going to go ahead and reverse the process. So uh, when all is said and done, we put the screws back in where they were, put the lid back on, or the, uh, the cover back on, charge up that battery, and hopefully instead of getting two, two and a half hours, we should get closer to five hours of runtime, or maybe even six. Uh, again, I'm not quite expecting the same as what I got when I first got the laptop, but uh, hopefully it'll give us a little bit more life for this machine. Um, when the case is open, it's also not a bad idea to sort of, uh, if you have an air gun or something, to sort of dust things off, but it's fairly clean in here, so I'm not feeling too worried about that. So that's it. That's, uh, that's a look at how you open up the Samsung Series 9 and replace the battery. This is not going to be applicable to all Ultrabooks, uh, but it is something that can hopefully breathe a little bit of extra life into this particular model, which was a uh, 2012 edition of Samsung's Thin and Light laptop before they changed the name from the Samsung Series 9 to the Samsung uh, Ativebook 9. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.